हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम कविता एंड टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिडक्शंस अंडर इनकम टैक्स एक्ट 1962 ऑफ द डिडक्शंस ऑफ टी सी टू ए टी यू फॉलोइंग आर द डिडक्शंस अंडर द एक्ट ए टी सी ए टी सी ट्रिपल सी ए टी सी सी डी एंड दिज ऑल डिडक्शंस आई विल डिस्कस इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन Uh, what are the deduction deductions are the exemptions on the amount taxable as per income tax act they are the investment made by the persons for them their family and their parents uh, the deductions under sections 80c to 80u shall be allowed from gross total income uh, however deductions are not allowed against short term capital gains specified in uh, 11a and long term capital gain so deductions are subtracted from the gross total income after deducting the uh, short term capital gain and long term capital gain from the gross total income then these deductions are allowed uh, so these deductions are uh, the investments which a person made uh, for uh, himself and for their families so our first deduction is 80c deduction under 80c it is for life insurance premium and provident fund uh, the uh, assess entitled to this deduction is individual or huf uh, the maximum limit of uh, the deduction under 80c is 1 lakh 50000 rupees uh, for individual uh, the deductions uh, under 80c cover the following investments uh, if the individual made these investments then he can claim uh, the deduction under 80c uh, what are these investments like insurance premium life insurance premium for self spouse or children uh, contract of annuity ppf rpf approved super invention fund provident fund uh, or subscription to nsc 8th or 9th issue uh, same as interest due on nsc 8th or 9th issue then contribution to ulips or ulips of lic or other insurer uti retirement benefit pension fund nhb pension funds or mutual fund under the central government scheme uh, the bonds issue by nabard are also uh, covered under this act under this section the deposit in sukanya samriddhi account etc are the, the investments uh, if the inv invest individual made these investment then he can claim the deduction under section 80c uh, these are for individuals and uh, next is for huf uh, the for huf the deduction uh, for huf if the karta or uh, if the karta invest for himself or for their family members in all these schemes these schemes of individual uh, but also these are also schemes available for huf but except these three schemes these uh, two schemes sorry uh, except these two schemes the if the uh, karta of huf made the investments uh, in the following schemes then he can also claim the deduction under 80c and the uh, exception of this these schemes are investment in nsc 8th or 9th issue or opening of new ppf account after 12th may 2005 so uh, the karta, the karta of huf can invest in these schemes except the nsc or ppf and then claim can claim the deduction under section 80c next is uh, the deduction under 80 triple c this is deduction for investment in pension funds uh, so the if the, the individual invest in the pension fund of any insurer uh, it may be lic or other insurer so then uh, the individual can claim the deduction under 80c C C and get triple C. Uh, uh, the maximum limit of this deduction is also one lakh fifty thousand. The amount has been allowed deduction under section eighty triple C. Then no deduction with reference to such amount shall be allowed under section eighty C. So uh, only one deduction uh, the, the individual can claim if he invest in pension fund either under eighty C or eighty triple C. next is 80 ccd this is this uh, deduction is related to the investment in pension scheme of central government uh, like uh, nps 
विच इज ए सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट पेंशन स्कीम नेशनल पेंशन स्कीम इट द एस एस सी एंड टाइटल टू दिस डिडक्शन इज ऑल्सो इंडिविजुअल ओनली एंड द मैक्सिमम लिमिट फॉर दिस डिडक्शन इज वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज द डिडक्शन विच कैन बी विच द इन्वेस्ट द इंडिविजुअल कैन क्लेम इज लिमिट टू फॉर गवर्नमेंट इम्प्लॉयज टेन परसेंट ऑफ हिज सैलरी और फॉर अदर इम्प्लॉयज टेन परसेंट ऑफ देयर सैलरी और इन केस ऑफ अदर इंडिविजुअल विच इज नॉट एनी इम्प्लॉई गवर्नमेंट और अदर इम्प्लॉई देन ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ जी टी आई दीज आर द लिमिट्स ऑफ दिस डिडक्शन टेन परसेंट ऑफ सैलरी फॉर इम्प्लॉयज और ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ जी टी आई फॉर अदर इंडिविजुअल और फिफ्टी थाउजेंड विच एवर इज लेस कैन बी क्लेम अंडर दिस सेक्शन नेक्स्ट इज ए टी सी सी ई द सेक्शन ए टी सी सी ई डिस्क्राइब द एग्रीगेट अमाउंट विच कैन बी क्लेम्ड अंडर द सेक्शन ए टी सी ए टी ट्रिपल सी ए टी सी सी डी दैट एग्रीगेट अमाउंट शुड नॉट एक्सीड वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सो सेपरेटली दीज सेक्शन हैव लिमिट ऑफ वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड बट द एग्रीगेट अमाउंट ऑफ दीज थ्री सेक्शन इज ऑल्सो लिमिट टू वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ओनली नेक्स्ट इज डिडक्शन अंडर सेक्शन ए टी सी सी जी इज रिलेटेड टू इन्वेस्टमेंट इन लिस्टेड इक्विटी शेयर्स इफ द इंडिविजुअल इन्वेस्ट इन द लिस्टेड इक्विटी शेयर्स देन ही कैन क्लेम द डिडक्शन अंडर दिस सेक्शन द एलिजिबल एस एस सी फॉर दिस डिडक्शन इज ऑल्सो रेजिडेंट इंडिविजुअल ओनली एंड द डिडक्शन अलाउड इज अप टू फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ अमाउंट इन्वेस्टेड और ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड विच एवर इज लेस द कंडीशन फॉर claiming this deduction is uh, that the first one is gti should not exceed 12 lakh rupees and investment is locked in for 3 years and the assc is new retail investor so uh, if the individual satisfy these three conditions this, then he can claim uh, the uh, deduction under section 80 ccg uh, then next uh, is deduction of 80d section 80d this is related to the medical insurance if the individual or huf the eligible ssc for this uh, deduction is individual and huf both uh, if they make uh, if they invest in medical insurance or they purchase the medical insurance uh, then they are eligible for claiming this deduction uh, the amount uh, quantum of amount of this deduction is for self family or parents if they are uh, normal individuals uh, means that they are not senior or super senior citizens then they can uh, uh, claim the deduction up to 25000 or if they are senior citizen it means that uh, the insurance is ma uh, made for a uh, senior citizen then uh, they can claim deduction up to 50000 and the aggregate amount of deduction for both senior citizen or the normal individual will also be limit up to 50000 rupees only and uh, it is also same in the case of huf if it is for a normal individual the medical insurance is for normal individual then uh, the deduction limit is up to 25000 or in case of senior citizen it the limit is extend to 50000 and the aggregate premium is also uh, limit Limit to fifty thousand only. Uh, the medical insurance is uh, come under this section eighty D. But in case of super senior citizen, the medical expenditure is also covered under this section eighty D. However, uh, in case of other individuals, uh, there is separate section for medical expenditure. in deductions but in for in case of uh, super senior citizen uh, the medical expenditure is also covered under this act 80d uh, now next is 80d d this is for disabled dependent it means uh, if an individual spend money for medical treatment training or rehabilitation of a disabled dependent person um, means the disabled person which depend upon the ssc then the amount uh, spend on that disabled person can be claimed under uh, 
deduction under the, this section 80DD. Uh, the deduction amount is limit up to uh, 75,000 in case of normal disability and in case of severe disability it, it extend to uh, 1,25,000. Uh, the eligible SSC for this deduction is also individual and HUF both. Next is uh, deduction under 80 DDB. Uh, this deduction is for medical treatment. Uh, if mm, if a, an individual uh, expand money for medical treatment, then he can claim it for deduction under the uh, Income Tax Act 80 uh, Section 80 DDB. Uh, the expenses uh, made for medical treatment for diseases or ailments. Uh, the eligible SSC for this is also individual and HUF both. Uh, the quantum of deduction is limit up to 40,000 in case of normal individual and 1 lakh in case of senior or super senior citizen or the amount paid whichever is less. Next is deduction under section 80e this is uh, for interest on loan of for higher education if the ssc uh, take loan for higher education for their children or uh, for himself then he can claim the interest on that loan as deduction under this uh, section 80e the eligible ssc for this uh, deduction is individual only not HUF and the deductible amount under this section is the interest paid during that previous year. The whole amount of that interest paid is deductible under this section. Next is uh, deduction under section 80EE. This is for interest on loan for residential house property. Residential uh, house property loan uh, the if the individual taken loan for uh, making the residential house property then interest on that loan can be claimed under the uh, section 80 ee for deduction uh, the eligible ssc is only individual and the deductible amount is up to 50000 every year till the repayment of loan can be claimed and the deduction uh, the conditions for this uh, deduction is uh, first one is the value of house property must be less than 50 lakh rupees and the loan uh, is the amount of loan is also less than 30 lakh rupees and the loan sanction between uh, 1st April 2016 to 31st March 2017 so if the individual uh, satisfy these three conditions then he can claim the interest on loan under this section 80 ee as deduction from their income tax now next is section 80 z uh, this section is for donation if the individual make donation if the individual not individual if any ssc make any donation uh, which come under the this section 80z then he can claim that that um, the amount of that donation as deduction from uh, for from his taxable income uh, so uh, that donations are divided into uh, two categories under this section first one is donation that are uh, under no limit and the donations with are with limits uh, so in no limit means that the amount which the ssc donate that whole amount or the 50 percent of that amount it can be deducted from the gti but in case of with limit there is a limit except uh, there is a limit other than that the amount of donation and then the limit and that donation donated amount is compared then uh, and the less from that these uh, uh, from both of these can be claimed under uh, the section 80g so uh, the limit is uh, the limit under this section is means that 10 percent of gti after deduction under section 80c to 80u except the uh, deduction under this section 80g and the stcg 
शॉर्ट टर्म कैपिटल गेन अंडर सेक्शन वन 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 ए सो आफ्टर डिडक्टिंग ऑल डिडक्शन एक्सेप्ट दिस ए टी जी एंड एस टी सी जी दैन द रिमेनिंग दैन द टेन परसेंट ऑफ दैट रिमेनिंग जी टी आई इज द लिमिट एंड देन दिस लिमिट एंड द अमाउंट ऑफ डिडक्शन इज कंपेयर्ड अंडर द विद लिमिट डोनेशन एंड देन द लिस्ट ऑफ द फॉलोइंग विल बी अलाउड एज डिडक्शन नाउ द डिडक्शन विच आर कवर्ड अंडर नो लिमिट डोनेशन द फिफ्टी एज वी सी द नो लिमिट डिडक्शन एंड विद लिमिट डिडक्शन आर सॉरी डोनेशन आर आल्सो डिवाइड फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू टू कैटेगरीज फर्स्ट वन इज हंड्रेड परसेंट क्वालिफाइंग डिडक्शन अमाउंट एंड नेक्स्ट इज फिफ्टी परसेंट डिडक्शन अमाउंट सो अंडर नो लिमिट द फिफ्टी परसेंट क्वालिफाइंग अमाउंट डोनेशन आर जवाहरलाल नेहरू मेमोरियल फंड पी एम ड्रोट रिलीफ फंड इंदिरा गांधी मेमोरियल ट्रस्ट राजीव गांधी फाउंडेशन एंड हंड्रेड परसेंट डिडक् हंड्रेड परसेंट क्वालिफाइंग अमाउंट डोनेशन आर नेशनल फंड फॉर डिफेंस एंड रिलीफ क्लीन गंगा फंड स्वच्छ भारत कोष पी एम नेशनल रिलीफ फंड पी एम्स आर्मेनिया अर्थक्वेक रिलीफ फंड जिला साक्षरता समिति नेशनल स्पोर्ट्स फंड नेशनल चिल्ड्रन फंड आंध्र प्रदेश चीफ मिनिस्टर साइक्लोन रिलीफ फंड एक्सेट्राज आर कवर्ड अंडर द हंड्रेड परसेंट क्वालिफाइंग अमाउंट ऑफ डोनेशन अंडर सेक्शन एट्टी जी विद नो लिमिट नाउ विद लिमिट डोनेशन आर हंड्रेड परसेंट डोनेशन आर हंड्रेड परसेंट क्वालिफाइंग अमाउंट ऑफ डोनेशन आर प्रोमोटिंग फॉर डोनेशन फॉर प्रोमोटिंग फैमिली प्लानिंग और पेड टू इंडियन ओलंपिक एसोसिएशन फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स एंड गेम दीज टू डोनेशन आर कवर्ड अंडर हंड्रेड परसेंट क्वालिफाइंग अमाउंट एंड द रिमेनिंग ओल्ड डोनेशन एक्सेप्ट दीज थ्री कैटेगरीज एज वी डिस्कस फिफ्टी परसेंट एंड हंड्रेड परसेंट अंडर नो लिमिट एंड दिस हंड्रेड परसेंट अंडर विद लिमिट देन एक्सेप्ट दीज थ्री कैटेगरीज ओल्ड डोनेशन विच आर अप्रूव्ड अंडर द एक्ट इज कवर्ड अंडर दिस फिफ्टी परसेंट क्वालिफाइंग अमाउंट अंडर विद लिमिट सो दिस इज ऑल एट्टी जी एंड नेक्स्ट इज सेक्शन एट्टी जी जी एंड दिस सेक्शन इज फॉर डोनेशन फॉर डिडक्शन अंडर इनकम टैक्स एक्ट फॉर रेंट पेड सो इफ इन केस ऑफ एन एम्प्लॉय विथ हु इज नॉट रिसीविंग एच आर ए और ही इज एन सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयड एस एस सी सो ही कैन क्लेम द अमाउंट ऑफ रेंट पेड फॉर हिज रेजिडेंशियल फॉर हिज रेजिडेंश सो एलिजिबल एस एस सी फॉर दिस अंडर दिस सेक्शन इज द एम्प्लॉय हु इज नॉट रिसीविंग एच आर ए और द सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयड एस एस सी इफ ही पेड रेंट सो ही कैन क्लेम दिस रेंट अंडर सेक्शन एटी जी जी एज डिडक्शन सो द अमाउंट ऑफ डोनेशन अमाउंट ऑफ सॉरी डिडक्शन अंडर दिस सेक्शन इज द लिस्ट ऑफ फॉलोइंग फर्स्ट वन इज रेंट इन एक्सेस ऑफ टेन परसेंट ऑफ सैलरी और 25% परसेंट ऑफ जी टी आई आफ्टर डिडक्शन अंडर ए टी सी टू ए टी यू आफ्टर वो सॉरी एक्सेप्ट ए टी जी जी एंड फाइव थाउजेंड पर मंथ सो लिस्ट ऑफ दिस थ्री कैन बी क्लेम अंडर एज डिडक्शन अंडर सेक्शन ए टी जी जी इफ द एस एस सी पेड रेंट नाउ नेक्स्ट इज डिडक्शन अंडर ए टी जी जी ए दिस इज द डिडक्शन फॉर साइंटिफिक रिसर्च एंड रूरल डेवलपमेंट सो इफ द एस एस सी पेड सम अमाउंट फॉर साइंटिफिक रिसर्च और फॉर रूरल डेवलपमेंट देन ही कैन क्लेम द डिडक्शन ऑफ हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ दैट अमाउंट पेड अंडर द सेक्शन ए टी जी जी ए द कंडीशन फॉर दिस डिडक्शन इज फर्स्ट वन इज मोर देन टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज विल बी पेड इन अदर देन कैश मोड और द नेक्स्ट इज द एस एस सी हैव नो इनकम अंडर पी जी बी पी 
so if the assessee satisfies these two conditions then only then he can claim the deduction under section 80 gg a now next is uh, section 80 gg b and section 80 gg c these uh, two sections are related to the contribution given to political parties. The ATGGB is for Indian companies and ATGGC for uh, individual. If the Indian company made contribution to the political parties, then he can claim uh, the deduction uh, under ATGGB. And if the individual contribute to the political party, then he can claim this deduction under section ATGGC. The amount of th uh, that uh, deduction is 100% amount paid can be claimed under deduction uh, under these sections and the conditions for these deduction is that the amount must be paid in other than cash now next is uh, deduction under section 80 q q b this is for royalty income of authors if the author uh, who is also an assessee uh, receive an any royalty income then he can claim under this section 80 q q b uh, as deduction uh, el eligible assessee for this uh, section for this deduction is individual only and the deductible amount under this section is 50 15 percent of value of book sold or 3 lakh rupees whichever is less can be claimed as deduction under this section 80 q q b next is 80 r r b this section is for the deduction of royalty income of patents the eligible assessee for this section is also resident individual who is also an patentee uh, so he can claim their uh, royalty income under section 80 rrb the deductible amount under this section is the whole income of that individual uh, whole royalty income of that individual or 3 lakh rupees whichever is less next is 80 tta this section is for in uh, for claiming the deduction of interest on saving account interest on saving account uh, if the individual receive interest on uh, under or for sa interest on saving account then he can claim this uh, interest amount as deduction under section 80 tta the eligible assessee for this deduction is individual or huf both uh, the deduction uh, the uh, amount of deduction uh, is whole income of interest or 10000 whichever is less Next is interest on uh, de uh, section deduction under section 80 TTB. The interest on uh, this is for interest on deposits. Uh, the eligible assessee for this deduction is senior citizen only, and the deduction amount of deduction is 50,000 or the interest income, whichever is less. The conditions of deposit is uh, that the um, uh, the de the deposit is made in bank, post office or cooperative societies only, not in other companies or in anywhere. Uh, now the last deduction is section 80U. This is for person who are disabled. So if a person who is disabled then he can claim the deduction under section 80u the amount of that deduction is limit up to 75000 for normal disability or in case of severe disability the person can claim up to 125000 uh, under the section 80u so friends these are uh, the deductions under section uh, 80c to 80u thanks for listening